Good seeing everybody. Appreciate you coming out. Uh, great day. A lot of fun. The guys are excited. Energy was high. Practice was very sharp. And we're looking forward to Sunday night. What questions do you have? John, uh, as the, uh, you know, going into the team, uh, I think, you know, whatever point underdog you guys are, how much will you use that underdog role as kind of motivation? You know, there really is no need to use anything for motivation right now. There's there's nothing that we would even need. Our guys are ready to go. We're excited for the game. We understand uh, what kind of game this is and what the opportunities are. And that's where we stand. John, we saw Lamar put out a tweet yesterday about his injury. Did you did you know he was going to do that, or did you kind of find out when we did? Uh, no, I didn't know anything about that. Uh, I haven't paid much attention to it. John, is, is it, does the team agree with the assessment of it being a grade two, borderline grade three? Well, you know, that's the thing. It's not something that uh, that we can comment on. You know, the, the, the nature of an injury specific is is really the only person I could comment on that as a person. I mean, there's there's laws along those lines. We're educated by the league in terms of what we're allowed to say and what we're not allowed to say. So that's nothing I could ever begin to comment on. John, I, I, got, I got the sense that fans were thrown off by the contrast between the initial optimism around the injury and then him saying yesterday that it was a more serious injury. Was it, was it a case where you guys realized it was a more serious injury maybe as, as you went along and he tried to rehab it or? You know, that's like, here's the thing. It's like, you don't know. And that's why it's so challenging to stand here and and you get asked questions about injuries all the time and I understand it because it's important. And you don't always know. Sometimes you're hopeful it'll be quicker. I know I'm always hopeful that guys get back quicker, that it's the front end of any kind of a prediction. Sometimes it goes the other way and it's longer and you're disappointed. And that's why it's really tough to to say, I mean, if I get up here and say it's going to be a certain amount of time and it doesn't turn out to be that time and everybody's like, well, you know, you're not being honest with us. It's like, no, you really don't know. That's how medicine works. You just don't know. And, and I sure don't know. I mean, I, there's a range in there somewhere. And, and as a coach, you just try to get your guys ready and you hope that the guys get back. Uh, had he communicated to you that he felt his knee was unstable? Uh, I, I'm not going to get any conversations you have with players. I mean, that's just not something that I would do. We have conversations about things all the time. And those are, those are conversations between me and and guys, whoever they are, really. Just that's all I can say about it. John, with the way he just, again, it was the way he described it was the borderline seems very severe. In your mind, I mean, do you think if you know, if you guys advance, do you think he'll be able to return at all for the playoffs? Well, like I just said, I, I can't know. I mean, I don't know. So I'm, my job and what I'm excited about and what I'm thinking about right now is Sunday. I'm thinking about this team and this practice. We had a great practice today. Uh, I'm excited about that. Can't wait for uh, can't wait to watch the tape on the practice. In all honesty, I can't wait for the meetings tomorrow morning. You know, I can't wait for tomorrow night's meetings. And I sure can't wait for the game to start. You know, I'm going to have to wait because it's not going to start until what 8:20 on Sunday night. But 8:20 Sunday night is what 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 I'm thinking about, and I know our guys are too because they're into it. John, we've seen Tyler do more throwing the last couple of days. How has he looked to you, and how much are you looking forward to getting him out there starting Sunday night? Yeah, I'm hopeful for that. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's worked really hard. Uh, you know, all the guys do. And I, you know, if I could backtrack on that one, and now that you made me think about working hard to get back, Lamar has too. I mean, the guys have worked super hard, and Lamar has done a great job working hard, and Tyler has worked super hard to get back, and uh, he's got back on the practice field this week, as you saw. So uh, we'll see where he's at, but I'm excited. Uh, you know, for the maybe that paying off for him, maybe he can be out there. We'll see. Coach, you've been in the playoffs four or five years. So you guys, your roster pretty much knows the intensity of it. Is that a fair assessment of going to the playoff game? Yeah, oh, yeah. We had, you know, that, you know, kind of guys talk in the meetings and, and some of the older guys talk to, to the young guys about what it's all about. And our guys understand playoff football. We'll be ready for it for sure. What are the biggest factors in the success you guys have had on the road in the playoffs? And do you see some of those characteristics with this team too? I think this team is ready to go play a playoff game on the road for sure. You know, I, this team understands we've got a lot of veteran guys and we got a lot of, we, we played well on the road this year already. So uh, it's just another road game in the sense of uh, how we operate in terms of our strategy and our scheduling and things like that. And let's go out there and play the game. John, is it a weird dynamic playing a team for the third time this year, having a game plan for them now in the playoffs? Well, I mean, we've done it before. You know, I think back to Pittsburgh in 2008 be, you know, would be the last time I can really remember doing it. Maybe it's happened since, but uh, uh, it is what it is. It's just the National Football League. It's division football, and we're excited about it. John, because of Tyler's injury and kind of being limited this week, 
Uh, who is going to be your starting quarterback? Do you, do you know right now? We'll let you know. We don't. We'll see uh, when the time comes. Yeah. Hey, coach, what's the situation at corner uh, with Brandon Stevens and Marcus Peters? And are you confident in the way uh, Worley performed last uh, game? Very happy with Daryl last game. He played a really good game, made his presence felt out there for sure. Um, Marcus had a good week of practice, so uh, you know I'm, I'm anticipating Marcus to be back. You know, but uh, we got a good deep group of corners. Love our secondary. Got a very tough physical secondary, and looking forward to seeing him play. John, do you think Brandon's illness is going to rule him out for, for Sunday? Yes, Brandon's illness is going to rule, rule him out for Sunday. Yes. All right. Talk about uh, the development of you know, he was named to 17 All Pro. You sent him as a practice squad player, but using COVID uh, rules for uh, player protections on the practice squad for one point. That's that's pretty impressive. To go back and, and, and track that. That was uh, that's what we did, and uh, it paid off, right? He's uh, he's really good. I think Nick is one of the best snappers in the National Football League for sure. Probably the other one's Morgan Cox. Remember him? So yeah, and. Uh, we're proud of that. We're proud of Nick. He's done a great job and looking forward to him having a great game on Sunday night. John, uh, I remember you know, back in the preseason when you were talking about just being patient with Ronnie and, and his rehab and you know, I guess letting him kind of do the work. For him to come back, get hurt, but be in a situation where that, that ankle is stable enough that he can you know, get back after just a couple of weeks, uh, I guess what has kind of said to you about how he's approached coming back from those, those couple of operations. It, it says so much, you know, and, and Ronnie is, Ronnie's been diligent and determined. It's hard, it's not an easy thing over a long period of time like that, you know, to come back from something that serious. And then to do it in a way that he's playing at the level he is, you know, and um, I, I, know, I've, I, I admire him, I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's done a great job. I'm very, very grateful that he's on our team. All right. Okay, Thanks, great, thanks. Thank you.